What's up, Gus? <laughs> As you said, my name is Nick Nemiroff, and like most people my age, I am 28. <laughs> I I just got a little kitten. Aww. <laughs> His name is Butter. Aww. I, uh, I took Butter to the vet recently, not because he was sick or anything, just because, you know, free health care in Canada. And the vet really liked Butter, too. The vet was like, oh, what a, what a confident little guy. I said, yeah, he, he gets it from his daddy. <laughs> and the vet said, what? I said, nothing, never mind. <laughs> the vet said, oh, his, uh, his testicles are growing in. That's very good. I said, <laughs> so that's what those are, OK. The vet said, you know, typically at, at this age and this, this maturation level, we, we would recommend you get him neutered if you're interested. That would cost about $300. So I told the vet that I have a 20. <laughs> and I'm not saying I'm a master negotiator, but very happy to announce tonight that for just $20, butter is circumcised. <laughs> it's, uh, it's important to me because now we can be buried in the same cemetery. <laughs> I should say it's not just because I'm Jewish, it's, it's because I want to be buried in a pet cemetery. <laughs> was raised to be Jewish. Aww. <laughs> but we went, to, we went to a very progressive synagogue growing up. Uh, we actually had Canada's first female rabbi at my synagogue. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And, you know, to give you an idea of how open-minded we were, not only was she female, but she was also deaf, uh, divorced, openly gay, a devout Muslim. Her, her sermons were confusing. <laughs> I'm actually real, realizing right now I forgot to do my opening joke. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, here it is. <clears throat> 
Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Nick It's great to be here. Going to you guys for coming out on a Saturday night. Give yourselves a round of applause for being such a good audience. So come on, you can do better than that. Let's try again. One, two, three. Give yourselves a round of applause for being such a good audience. Hey, I knew you guys had it in. You just need some encouragement. How am I for a terrific MC? Hey, Trev. Hey, Kedra. How's it going? How am I? My name's Nick. It's great to be here. <clears throat> Hey, kid, Sheriff, how's it going? Ha, ha, great, glad to hear it. So do we have anybody here from out of town? Oh, you, sir, where are you from? Sudbury. So where do you go from the second Tim Hortons closes? Ha, ha, guys. I'm just kidding around. Check out this guy. He's like, whoa, man, too far. Check out this guy in the back. He's like, what? There are two Tim Hortons in Sudbury? Ha, ha, guys, I'm just kidding around. My name's Nick. So it's going to be easy for talking about relationships and or sex. And let me tell you, dating in this modern age isn't for me. And I know this might come as a surprise to you guys, but yeah, I'm single. I know Donald Gaspin wants, like, what? This is less, less intimidating. Michael Sarah, motherfucker, can't get a date. Now, look, guys, I'm not trying to say I reject a lot, but I went into a bar and trying to talk to this lady. And she just left swiped on me. But fellas, you know I'm trying everything. I'm on Tinder, plenty of fish. Okay, Cupid, fellas, I'm even on J-Date. Anybody here smoke weed? Make some noise if you smoke weed. Haha, <laughs> I love asking that question because you know what a couple people don't answer it? Liars. Either that or they're like, oh, wait, what was the question? Haha, <laughs> oh man, I'm so high right now. <laughs> Guys, if you're a real stoner, you don't even do 420. It's more like 445. Haha, <laughs> weed's so sick though. Check out this guy in the back now. He's like, there's no way that he's still writing stuff on that hand. That's insane. <laughs> that was all that I could fit on my hand. <laughs> I, uh, I'm going to be honest with you guys. That didn't really feel natural. <laughs> also, there was nothing written on my hand. <laughs> 